Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print on demand journey. In today's video I just want to talk about the option of changing your upload speed when you automate your upload processes to the different print on demand websites. As you might know, I use Flying Upload. I can highly recommend it. It is what has kept me going on my print on demand journey. Uh, it has paid for itself. Really, there's nothing I couldn't recommend about Flying Upload. This service is great. And this video is not sponsored by the guys, but I, you know, I'm impressed. Um, it's for me the, really the best upload tool out there. Um, I have tried two other ones before. I mean, I haven't tried all of them, but for me, it, it just works and I haven't changed because why should you change a running and a working system? So I want to talk about how to change the upload speed because the question came up, I mentioned it in a previous video, and the question came up again in the comments, how do you actually do that and doesn't have an effect. So in Flying Upload, and I just show you the, um, this is the Flying Upload dashboard. I mean, this is actually the, where you start, then um, you have your upload uh, sort of dashboard and your editing dashboard where you edit the designs and you add the text, the description, everything. Um, by the way, if you're interested in checking out Flying Upload, you can do it for free on their website. If you go on their website to store and then upload print on demand, they also have KDP uploads tool, but that um, is at a separate cost, a separate subscription. It's a completely different tool. It looks very similar, but um, it works different. You have different um, you know, fields to enter your information, everything. But what you have, um, you actually don't need to pay anything for this tool if you want to stick to 150 uploads per month to all, all platforms. And that might be already enough for some people, even though I don't think it's enough to succeed in print on demand, but it's a good start. And if you want to try the tool, you can just do it for free for 150 uploads per month. And you can find an affiliate link in the description if you want to use it anyway. And um, then you are supporting this channel as well. So let's go right into it. So what you do is when you want to um, change the upload speed, you go to options and then you go to settings. And here you have your license key. You've got your appearance. You can actually swip it, switch it to light and dark mode. I genuinely like the dark mode more. Um, and then you can select the speed here. And that is the speed that will change it for all the platforms. So if you upload to, let's say, Spreadshirt, Redbubble, Amazon Merge, Zazzle, you know, Society6, Tostadora, and so on, then this will change the upload speed to all of them. I would only recommend the fast upload speed if you really need to upload quickly. Um, I did that because I really wanted to um, catch up on all the uploads for Zazzle. So I increased it to fast because in the beginning I didn't have the capture solving system. So if you upload to Zazzle, you know, you oftentimes have to confirm these captures, these pictures, and it became annoying. So after a while, flying upload always stopped, you know, I had to confirm it manually and then it carried on. But now I've got the add on, which is the capture solving system. So it costs me, I think $5 per month but at least it solves all these issues with Zazzle and it uploads automatically and um, yeah, sorts out the capture automatically. And then I can upload, um, can I change the speed too fast? If I change, I mean, I don't see any difference in terms of, you know, that they, the websites could think you are using automation. It hasn't triggered anything for me, but I think I would only recommend it. Yeah. If you need to upload a lot and if you need to upload, um, or if you want to really use all the upload limits that they have, for example, 60 on Redbubble. And also I would only recommend it if you have a fast laptop or PC. If you have a slow one, it could really str struggle when you change it to fast. So there's no reason why you can't just go with, for example, medium or even slow. Um, and generally, literally, it, it just increases the, um, you know, the speed at which the tool enters your information on the website. As you might know, if you know how Flying Upload works, you know, you add your title description tags into the Flying Upload tool that is then related to the design. Um, it basically creates a little extra file for that design. And then you can, um, and then you can actually, um, yeah, upload it. And then it will enter that information as if you were doing it manually. It is just doing it automatically on the website. So there's actually no way um, the website can see a different IP address or anything. It all happens from your laptop, from your PC. All it's doing is really just mimicking what a person would do as well. So just enter information. And if you want to it to appear a little bit more human-like, then you probably should go with normal or even slow. 
I still have set it to fast because I just want to do it as efficiently as possible and um, don't want to let my laptop run for 24 hours. So that is why I've set it to um, fast. I mean, you can still with normal, it doesn't take long, but if you want to set it to slow, which might be safer for some people and it might also be better for your laptop if you have a really, uh, or your PC, if you don't have a very fast one. And if you upload to various websites at once, you know, if you have the upload started for Spreadshirt and Redbubble and Zazzle and maybe Society6, you upload to four or five websites in parallel, maybe then you want to consider to switching a lower upload speed because it can really, um, you know, it, it uses the performance of your system. And that's pretty much everything. Then all you need to do is click to save and then it will just change it um, immediately. There is no, no, no need to restart the tool in my opinion. Um, so I leave it at fast, haven't changed anything. And hopefully that video was useful. If you liked it, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.